When people think of a career in aviation, they think of becoming a pilot or a flight attendant, but there are many other rewarding and high paying opportunities in the field of aviation. And we're preparing students for rewarding career in aviation maintenance right here at Atlanta Technical College. From our proximity to Hartsfield Jackson Airport to our partnership with Delta Airlines, our aviation maintenance program is second to none. Hi, I'm Clarence Willis, the program coordinator here at Atlanta Tech. And on this episode of Atlanta Tech Talks, you will get to sit down with one of our current aviation maintenance students and learn how he is preparing for an amazing career in the aviation field. You will hear how students not only get to learn about working on airplanes from actual Delta Airline Tech Op employees, but how they are also exposed to maintaining and working on many different aircraft. I know you've often heard that the sky's the limit. Well, at ATC, we are truly taking you to the sky. So buckle your seatbelt while the seatbelt sign is on and get ready for the next episode of Atlanta Tech Talks, Student Takeover Edition. Welcome to Atlanta Tech Talks. I'm your host, Jason Warner, and this is the Student Takeover Edition. And as you can see, we're in the aviation hangar right here at Atlanta Technical College. I mean, I'm, I just really need to pause because I'm still in awe. I, I, I really can't believe all of the amazing things that are going on. We're literally sitting right behind two airplanes, like real airplanes. These are not like project models. We're in an aviation hangar with real airplanes on a college campus. And I have Mr. Rodney Beecham. He's a student here in the aviation program. Welcome to the show, Rodney. Hey, thank, thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Man, so we were talking before, and, you know, this is your second phase in career. Mm -hmm. You know, you moved here to Atlanta about 10 years ago, and you work in law enforcement. But right. tell us a little bit about this journey from Mississippi to Atlanta, from law enforcement to aviation. Um, like, like you say, it's, it's, it's been 10 years, so... Um I hit the ground running back in 2013. You know, I got right into law enforcement. Um, I felt myself kind of, you know, getting burnt out. Right. So, you know, my mentor asked me, you know, hey, you know, what what, what else do you like to do? Right. I like working with my hands. I like challenges. Um, you know, coming up, I was always around, um, you know, my uncle who, who worked on cars. So, and I have two brothers that's in aviation as well. Okay. So, you know, I'm hitting the second curve of life and I'm like, hey, let me just jump into aviation. And, you know, my, my brother, he, he, he persuaded me a little more to do it. And, um, you know, I came up, talked to a few professors, and here I am. You know, every, every kid thinks about one day, man, I wish I could fly. And not only that, uh, but you get to actually work on the apparatus that people fly in. Right. From airplanes to helicopters. So talk a little bit about the program and some of the things that you guys get to work on. Um, so starting off, um, of course, you know, we have to go through the general parts of it. Uh, right. You know, what we learn about, um, we have aircraft drawings, you know, you got your basic electricity, um, you know, your forms, you know, we go through regulations, which right. is something that you have to learn. You have to learn those regulations because the FAA do not play <laughs> about that. Um, so, you know, after the general part, you, you move into the airframe part. Okay. Um, airframe is pretty much everything except the engine of the plane. So the, the body, the, the body. wings, everything. Yes, All right. yes, that's the airframe part of it. And uh, during airframe, you know, we deal with the rigging. Uh, we deal with inspections, um, hydraulics. Um, we got weight and balance. And uh, after airframe, you move into power plant. And, and power plant is the, the thing the that makes it go. That's the engine. That's the, that's, that's, that's the big boy. That's the engine. You know, it's interesting, right? Because when most people think of a career in aviation, they think about being a pilot or mm -hmm. a, a flight attendant, right? Uh, not many people think about the people who actually put the airplane or the aircraft together. Right. So talk about, you know, we, we all are here to make a living, right? Talk about some of the type of money a person in aviation could make. Oh, man. Um, so, so starting off... Uh, base pay, I want to say, is right at 80K. So coming out of school, so, you know, ATC, you can come into this program. It's about a two-year program. Yeah, two years. At 18. 18. And at 20, you can be making close to six figures. That's close what you're telling figures. me? Yeah, I mean, and I, 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 think it's, I think it's a good deal because, I mean, coming out of high school, 
I was making seven seven twenty five. You know, <laughs> that's about what twenty thirty thousand dollars a year. Not even fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, compared to making eighty grand a year, man, it's 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 a big jump. It's awesome. a big difference, definitely. So 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 talk to us, and you 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 mentioned the FAA, mm-hmm. right? Um, the aviation program at ATC is not one that everyone can get in. I'll just I'll just be frank about that, right? Yeah. We have some programs that you can easily matriculate to. Um, aviation is not one that is just you just walk in because you have to know your math, your science. But this is literally life and death, right? You talked about the FAA. Mm-hmm. So talk to us a little bit about the you know pre- preparation um, that you that it takes to come into a program like this because it's so heavily regulated, right? right. You have one bolt means basically life and death, making sure that someone yeah. stays in the air. Yeah. So um, coming into the program, like I said, it, it is, it is difficult um, because, you know, we have other competitors. Right. Um, so I would, I would recommend anyone who's, who's looking into getting into the program is first and foremost, have your documentation ready. Okay. You know, uh, coming out of high school, go ahead and get your official transcripts, um, what else? What What else do we need? Uh, just basically all your documentation that you need. You know, you need right. your license, your your socials, your birth certificates. You know, things of that nature. Right. Everything you need to get into a program. Right. Go ahead and get those documents ready. Right. Because those are very important. And if you're accepted into the program, um, there is a test you have to take. Okay. Get on that test. Get prepare, on, prepare, prepare. Get on that test because you have a certain time to take it. Okay. And if you don't take within that certain time, the next person gets a slot. So, and and there's there's only a, some from what I hear, it's only a few slots for this program. Of course, of course. Um, so, talk to us a little bit about the instruction. From what I hear, uh, you guys have Delta Tech Ops ex- uh, instructors and oh, some yeah. folks that have been in the industry doing it every day, and then they come in and teach you. Talk about the instruction that you're receiving. Uh, well, you know, the, the instructors from Delta, they they, they are amazing. Um, you know, we have some that are retired, uh, okay. recently retired, but we also have some that actually work at Delta now. Okay. So, you know, just to get that, the knowledge from someone who does the job today is different because most right. of our instructors are retired. Right, right. So, you know, to get, to you know, to, to just to get everything you need to know from someone who actually works in the industry on a day-to-day basis, uh-huh. that's, you know, that that's a, that's definitely an, ava- uh, an advantage. And, um, you know, even with the retirees, um, Mr. E, well, I'm, I call his name, he's a great guy. did 33 years at Delta. Right. Um, he teaches composites here. Okay. And he teaches it like he just learned it yesterday. He, so, he's so excited. So talk to us a little bit about composites because, you know, some of the lingo is a little different for folks that won't okay. know. So composite, what does what that class entail? Uh, so composites is pretty much what the plane, um, that the, it's in – how can I how can I put this? Composites is pretty much what's behind all the metals. Okay. It's uh you got you got your honeycomb composites. Uh, I'm not sure if you ever heard of like uh you got your epoxies and things okay. of that nature. So every all of that plays into how the plane is actually built, the airframe of the plane. So the glue that keeps the plane together, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So what so because clearly the planes are heavy, but they have to be light enough to so, so those types of things to keep it together. So you guys are learning uh, just a ton of things to, yeah, of to make sure these aircraft stay in the air. Uh, so talk to us a little bit about, you know, you gave a little pre- preparation, but what from a from a educational preparation, what would you advise a person that's thinking about the program to do? Is there things that they could study uh, prior to trying oh, yes. to get accepted, um, the things that they need to just brush up on so that they can be prepared for the aviation program here at ATC? Uh, yes, of course. Um, I would say, first and foremost, um, you know, invest in yourself. And when I say that, you, you can look into um, things like Prepware, Dauntless. Those are apps that we use um, that pretty much lays the program out, you know, from A to Z. Okay. So if you, if you get those... Um, if you get those apps, you can pretty much start studying for it now. Awesome. And when you get into the program, you know, things won't be foreign to you. Um, I will also say, you know, um, turn in everything in a timely manner. Okay. Because <laughs> time is everything. Um, and for students who, you know, who's looking to come into the program, you know, I would say be early because if you're on time, you're late. <laughs> you know, uh, we, we, we stress that a lot in um, – because anytime you miss, you have to make it up. Right. And if you miss a certain amount of hours, you got to go back and take the class all over again. Oh, wow. So that'll set you back more. 
Right. And, uh, you know, I will also say, you know, just do your research. Make sure this is something that you want to do. Okay. And, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm a firm believer of don't waste no one's time, especially right. not yours, because there are people out here who wants to get into the program. Okay. So if it's something that you, you know, don't want to do or thinking twice about, just make sure you're, you know, 100% ready to do it before getting into it. So, you know, you're, you've talked about you're in law enforcement mm -hmm. currently and a student as well. So what does the future look like for you? Like, what is that transition? Oh, the future's bright. <laughs> <laughs> the future's bright. Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue to do law enforcement part-time. Okay. Um, however, um, I'm expected to have my license, one of my licenses I'm going to get in August, which is my F-Ring. Okay. I've already completed the general report. Congratulations. The program. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I'll have my power plant license hopefully by January of 2024. And so you guys are working on aircraft this size, but will you be able to work on like the big 747s and oh, yeah. different things oh, like yeah. that that's too? The, oh, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So, you know, my goal is to, of course, um, I want to work for a major airline. Awesome. Um, you know, like I said, I got two brothers that work at Delta, so that'll be ideal, you know, to work you know, side by side with my brothers. So, you know, that ATC proximity is just like – Right down the street to Hartsfield Jackson. Mm -hmm. You already have a partnership with Delta Airlines. You're being trained by Delta. So, you know, for anyone trying to get in this program, I mean, it's it's almost like the great pathway to go through. Yeah. As we close out, one of the things that we always ask guests on the show mm -hmm. to leave us with an Atlanta Tech Talk success tip. This could be from Rodney growing up in Mississippi to Rodney as a law enforcement person, could be Rodney as the student at ATC. Okay. But something that, a model or something, a tip that you live by that you can leave our, our audience with. Ah, oh, man. Um, I would say, you know, set goals. Um, set a goal, set a timeline, and accomplish that goal. You know, and um, um, I would say ask questions because in this industry, no, I mean, you know, everyone says no question is a, is, is a stupid or dumb question. Right. Man, you have to ask questions, you know, ask questions, network, um, prepare yourself because it's it's a very demanding industry. Awesome. Well, Mr. Beecham, thank you so much. You know, I got to ask a lot of questions today okay. because um, this, again, I'm still in awe to be in the aviation hangar right here at Atlanta Tech Talks. Uh, this this student takeover edition is is. I don't know. This is probably the best part of what we do here to expose you, the people, to what amazing things are going on at Atlanta Technical College. If you want to find out more about the aviation program, any other program here at Atlanta Tech, visit www.atlantatech.edu. I'm your host, Jason Warner. I'd like to thank Dr. Victoria Seals, our illustrious president, for allowing us to host this podcast, the Marketing and Public Relations Department, led by Ms. Werdelin. This has been Atlanta Tech Talk Student Takeover Edition. See you next time.